So we're going to have uh, both hooks in. Uh, when I have the back, I don't want to cross my knee here because you can, you can foot lock me from here. So make sure that when you have the back, you, you can put your feet like in the praying position or you can put your foot across the hip like this, but never cross the feet. It's not your ideas, okay? Just know that, all right? So I have both my hooks in and I'm gonna go over and under grip, one arm under the armpit, other over the uh, shoulder, okay? The one over the shoulder is a choking arm, okay? So I always wanna protect it. So I, I cover it with the bottom hand. If I go this way and he pulls down the top hand, I have no choke. But if he pulls it here, then this hand can come up and choke, okay? So we're here, I, my chest is connected to his back, okay? I don't want any space between my chest and his back. Very important. The other thing is, when I start, I don't want to be too close to his, uh, to his hips with my hip. I want to have a little space between my hips and his hips, okay? So from here, over the top, protect the choking hand. My chest is connected to his back. I want to be here, here, and I'm going to bring him over to the side. And as I do, I'm just going to pass his foot over his hip like this. Notice how my, my feet chase on. You got your shoes on? Good. Okay, watch. So from here, I'm going to be quiet. So, he's, so I'm here, and I pass, and I hook. So it's going over the, 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 the hip here. I want my head ear to ear like this because if my head's here and he drives his shoulders to the mat, he's gonna escape. So I gotta keep my head between his head and my head, okay? So if he tries to drive his head to the mat, I keep everything tight, I'm squeezing here, okay? So it's gonna be real hard for him. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look uh, to control this hand. And I'm gonna get control of this hand, okay? And I can grab it at the finger here. If I grab it at the wrist, he can roll his wrist out. So if I can, I'll get it here. I get, get control of this hand. And I can go back to my lock here. This foot is gonna come, and I can be like, you know, attacking the choke, and he may be defending with the other hand, that's fine. This foot's gonna come and stomp down on his uh, forearm. So from here, the foot comes in, stomps down on his forearm, and comes to there, just like this. Okay, in that position. Now from here, I kind of got uh, his hands out of the way. I'm gonna rock him to the other side. As I rock him to the other side, I'm gonna grab my foot. See this? So, up here. Tap the choke. Stop, grab the foot, rock him to the other side. Okay, now this foot is gonna come here next to his hip. I post it on my hand, and I'm going to scoop my foot into his armpit, just like this. Then I'm going to lock over my ankle, toes are up, lean back, squeeze, and push his head forward. So again, we're starting, both hooks in, over under grip, my chest is connected to his back, my ears tight to his, as I pull him down, I'm going to stomp down put my foot over his hip. I'm gonna stay ear to ear. I'll start, you know, start to threaten the choke. He made a thin. I'm gonna get a hold of this hand first of all. Yeah, as he starts to pull this hand down, that's fine. I'm gonna stop down and kick his arm. I'm gonna grab my shin. Now watch, I'm gonna open my knee. See me opening my knee? It's gonna drag him over to this side. This foot goes over here. I'm gonna pull my foot into his armpit, I'll lock down. My toes are locked straight. Lean back, squeeze, and push his head. Any questions? All right.